how the fuck did you get Hamilton tickets? <laughs> My favorite thing on Twitter right now are the redneck boycotts. Rednecks have been all over Twitter in the last year. I think it's because they just got the internet. They're like real excited about it, you know? <laughs> and anytime anything progressive happens, there will be a fake redneck boycott. Now what I mean by this is, so Trump banned immigrants. And then Starbucks came out and they said, hey, we're gonna hire 10,000 refugees. All these xenophobic rednecks went on Twitter. We're not gonna drink Starbucks anymore. And I was like, when the fuck did you drink Starbucks? <laughs> and if you did, didn't you stop when they had a red cup? <laughs> what are you talking about? And then one of the actors in Hamilton had some words for Mike Pence during a performance. And all these blindly patriotic rednecks went on Twitter. They were like, we're not gonna go see Hamilton anymore. <laughs> and I was like, the fuck did you get Hamilton tickets? <laughs> what are you talking about? You can't boycott something you don't use. We're not gonna drink Starbucks. We're not gonna go see Hamilton. We're gonna boycott next. Portland, Oregon? Shut up. You don't use these things. The one boycott that could have worked was the Budweiser boycott. During the Super Bowl, Budweiser had an ad. And the point of the ad was Budweiser saying, hey, you know, our company was founded by immigrants, like most things in this country, so maybe take a step back for a second, consider the ramifications of your actions. All these rednecks went on Twitter. They're like, we're not gonna drink Budweiser anymore. And I was like, yes, you are. <laughs> what are you talking about? No one chooses to drink Budweiser. That's not a choice. You're born that way. That's Look, we live in a very tolerant time right now. We accept you for who you are. Whatever an adult does in the privacy of their own inner tube is up to them. I think that's in Leviticus somewhere. I know, Jay-Z's baby? Yeah, Jay-Z's baby. But Budweiser was spelled wrong in the hashtag. That's true, that's real. The word Budweiser is spelled B-U-D-W-E-I-S-E-R, but they spelled it W-I-S-E-R, like the word wiser. Particularly ironic. Like how do you misspell your own political movement? How's that even possible? You guys remember that famous speech from Martin Luther King, right? I have a dram. You guys remember that, right? <laughs> I'm scrolling through these tweets, and I'm like, how dumb are these people? And then I saw one, I was like, oh, that dumb. Because there was a tweet that said, we need to support a real American beer, like Heineken. I was, oh. oh, no. Why does your vote count the same as mine? That doesn't sound fair. I feel like maybe Redneck's vote should count like a little bit less. Not a lot less, just maybe like three-fifths, you know? I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you can watch Secret Optimist for free on my YouTube channel or check out a live show. My calendar is at stevehoffsetter.com.